Brad Pitt is a timeless actor with a long list of successes and the mega mansion he lives in is no different. He's of course making headlines after this year's Oscar since he won Best Supporting Actor for his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood which is so deserved. Don't you forget it. Over the span of his career, Brad's owned a handful of luxury properties across the globe from France to Hollywood. However, the current place he calls home is his Los Feliz compound that he's been building up for over two decades. We'll be taking a better look at Brad's five home estate and more in this video. Brad Pitt, where do I even begin? Well, William Bradley Pitt is both an actor and film producer and he owns a successful production company, Plan B Entertainment. Aside from the Oscar he just won, he's received multiple awards over the years including two Golden Globes, another Oscar and an Emmy Award for producing under Plan B. Brad has starred in so many blockbuster films from Fight Club, My Personal Fave, to the Ocean's Eleven franchise and thrillers like Seven. No surprise he's also been titled the world's most attractive man time and time again and considered one of the most influential people in the entertainment industry. Of course, Brad has accumulated a huge fortune from all his dedicated work. Currently, his estimated net worth sits at 300 million US dollars, which was more than his ex Angelina Jolie. But apparently, they signed an ironclad prenup, so nothing to worry about. Speaking of their divorce, Brad got to keep the compound in Los Angeles, which makes sense since that was his project he started back in the 90s, while Angelina moved into a new mansion close by. Brad is also the father of six children, so I can understand why he needs such a giant home with a built in skate park, no less. On the other hand, the property Brad used to own with his first ex-wife Jennifer Aniston in Beverly Hills is on the market for over $44 million and it's also impressive. So if you have that kind of money laying around, you could check it out. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to look at the legendary Brad Pitt and his five house property in Los Feliz and much more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Johnny Depp and Will Smith and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Before we get into Brad's epic compound in Los Feliz, let's look at the mansion he lived in the first time he was a newlywed. Of course, we can't forget the era of Brad and Jen Aniston, especially since to this day tabloids are still constantly linking them together. Back in the day, these two lovebirds lived in quite the house. In 2001, Brad and Jen bought this mansion for $13.1 and spent three years renovating it. It's located in the celeb loved neighborhood of Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and was built back in the 30s and designed by the architect Wallace Neff. The price has increased over the years and now this home is listed at 44.5 mil, which is a bargain since the original asking price was closer to 50. Brad's previous home he lived in with Jen was 12,000 square feet of living space and described on the listing as the ultimate pedigree in Beverly Hills. It had four beds in the main house and 12 baths and there was an equally accommodating second story guest house with another bedroom. This mansion is described as French Normandy revival style and the spacious home has many features, some of which include an Eden Gourmet Kitchen with my favorite black and white tiled floors, a light filled living room with floor to ceiling windows and a dining room that fits up to 20. There's a home gym on the upper level, a large private screening room and even a pub room where Brad and Jen installed wood floors from a 200 year old French chateau. There's a lower level bar sitting room and a great room with windows and French doors that open up to the patio area. Outside on the 1.2 acres of land surrounding Brad's old house, there's a ton of space for dining and entertaining. There's also an outdoor living area with a fireplace and huge swimming pool. After Brad and Jen moved on from this home, the new owners added the full tennis court and pavilion. Not to mention this house is super private and has not one but two separate gated entries on different streets. Although Brad and Jen moved out of this home post divorce, they enjoyed it for a few years and clearly the value of the property only keeps going up. Now let's take a look at Brad's main estate in Los Feliz. He purchased the first property back in 1994, even before Jen Aniston days and has done a bunch of work to the main house to make it more family friendly. Brad's main home that he bought first cost him only 1.7 million, which sounds like a deal when you hear how much homes cost in Los Angeles now. It's located in Los Feliz, which is a trendy neighborhood that attracts both established types and creative up and comers. It's a hillside enclave that borders the massive Griffith Park, so Brad's close to both 
the observatory and the Greek theater. Since Brad bought the first house, he spent the next two decades collecting neighboring properties to add to the compounds. This gave him way more privacy and space for the children to play. His main mansion is 5,338 square feet and has six bedrooms and seven baths. Brad's compound has five conjoining properties and four of the buildings have been completely remodeled since purchase. In total, his fortress covers 80,000 square feet and has been over 20 years in the making. Some of the smaller houses around the main house include a home that was rebuilt over a decade after purchase, a house for the nanny, a building that's used as a huge kids area, vacant land with a discreet two bedroom cottage and more. Brad wanted to create a free flowing compound that suited the original houses in the area that date back to 1915. It's a dream home made for both work and play considering his main house also doubles as a space for his plan B production company located on the upper floor. After the purchase of the main house in the late 90s, Brad went on to buy house number two, a smaller one for 380k at the back of his land, which sits at almost 2,500 square feet. And then another neighboring house for 475k, which was just over 1,600 square feet. Later on when Brad was with Angelina, the next addition was in 2008, and it cost 1.28 million, even though it was only 1,500 square feet. The following year, they spent 1.1 million on a huge barn-like structure which now has a secret cave and its own bar. This made it possible to make a building a huge playroom for the kids that doubled as a living quarters and den for them. Brad's massive and completely secluded compound has a bunch of exciting stuff outside too. There are three swimming pools for the children and plenty of decks and patios to soak up the sun. There's also a tennis court, secret cave, and a large skate park that goes around part of the property. Since Brad's divorce from Angelina, he's added even more fun stuff for the kids. Aerial shots reveal slides, swings, pool toys, a treehouse, and even a bouncy castle. It seems like the family compound is more like an amusement park these days. Back in 2013, Brad told Esquire that it could get noisy at home, but he loved it, admitting, I always thought that if I wanted to do a family, I wanted to do it big. I wanted there to be chaos in the house. House. There's a constant chatter in our house whether it's giggling or screaming or crying or banging. I love it, I love it, I love it. I hate it when they're gone. And I'm sure the kids love being at Brad's compound too. So now we've looked inside Brad Pitt's massive five property compound in Los Feliz that he calls home. With all of those properties, I'm not surprised it was a project that took him over 20 years to collect. These five are far from the only real estate Brad has to his name and he also owns a spot in the Hollywood Hills. He's been a self-proclaimed design and architect enthusiast for a while now and Brad actually helped design this retreat. He worked with Graft in Los Angeles, a group of three young architects, and created a dramatic and tranquil home which is super modern. Not to mention over the span of his successful career, Brad has owned homes not just all over the US, but around the world. He owned a 7,000 square foot Big Easy mansion with two story guest house in New Orleans and an apartment in New York's Waldorf Astoria Towers with Angelina. Brad also bought a Malibu beach house for $8.4 million in 2005 that was later sold to Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. And in 2000, he got a Santa Barbara beach house on 11.5 acres of land. Even up until recently, the Santa Barbara home has been used as a vacation home for Brad and the kids. We also can't forget the properties Brad and Angelina bought in Europe such as the infamous Chateau Miraval Castle in southern France they called home for years and got married at. There was more real estate in France, a home in London, England, and even a more recent villa worth 3.7 mil Brad bought on the Spanish island of Mallorca. A lot of these homes Brad has moved on from, especially since his divorce, but I'm not surprised with all of the properties he's accumulated considering his net worth. What do you guys think about Brad's Los Feliz compound? Okay guys, before we finish up, I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our recent Nile Horan house tour, Sandil Safiso commented saying, I don't even miss a single video. Good work all the way from South Africa. Thank you, Sandil. I'm glad you liked the vids. Let me know who I should do next. Pivy Project commented on our Britney Spears house tour and wrote, Miss Britney is one hell of an entertainer. I like her music. She sure has lived in nice places. Thousand Oaks home looks amazing. You go girl, be happy. I love Britney and her home too. I think I might just do another video on her soon. And Luigi Diaz also said in our Britney vid, she can sing, dance, and act. She's a living icon from the 90s. All right guys, that's all I could find on Brad Pitt's massive compound in Los Feliz. What were your thoughts on his estate? Or which spot did you like the best? I didn't get to see all of his compound, but I really love that home he had back in the day with Jen Aniston. That was my personal fave. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!